What's up, everybody? It's me, Asian Gamer Bro, back again. Did I mess up the camera? Did I mess it up? I think it's good. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Shotcut on the PC. If you guys don't know, Shotcut is a free software that enables you to edit any kind of videos, uh, such as, uh, I think, music. But I usually do gaming videos. So I usually do gaming videos, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you guys this like a just a basic tutorial of a couple clips, and I'll show you guys what I do in my videos. And I really like it because it's free. So if that sounds good to you, gaming bros. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to your agent gamer bro. And let's get this ball rolling. Alrighty, guys. So you guys have it here. This is Shotcut. You can download right here. I'll put the link in the description, and it tells you what you can do. Why format? Support device transfers sleek and intuitive interface. It's really simple and I use it all the time in my videos It renders in HD 1080p 60 frames per second. I really like it a lot I combo that with OBS right down here OBS is really good look into OBS, but I'm gonna show you guys shotcut real quick first So I have shotcut right down here guys, so I was open up right there. This is my main menu First, what you want to do when you first open Shotcut, see right here on the left hand side, the export tab, make sure you guys hit H.264 high profile because that's like the best quality you could get when you upload gaming videos and mostly any other videos you want to use that setting. H.264 high profile. Next, you want to go to from, you guys see from right there, you want to go right here, resolution, Change that sucker because that's too damn low. Put that 920, 920p to 1080p, just like that. Everything's gonna be HD. Aspect ratio is fine. Frames per second is fine. Progressive, leave it as there. Field order, leave it right there. Yaddy F, it doesn't matter what it is, leave it right there. Everything's good right here, as you guys can see. Bilinear is good. This is also for rendering. Rendering, it's all good, so don't worry about that, gamer bros. Go to Codex, make sure you guys change quality to 80%. You could do 70% if you want, but quality won't be as good. If you go higher than 80%, like 90%, it's going to be too much and, and it's going to take too long download. That won't be that much significant increase in terms of video quality. So 80% is actually good enough. It's right on the button. GOP, 30 frames, frames per second. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about this. These are all good. Audio, bitrate, 4800, these are all the default settings, that's good, don't worry about that. 256k bitrate, that's good, don't worry about that, those are fine. So next, you want to open a file, it's all good in Gravy Gamer, bro, so it's all good. Just open a file right here. Let's see, um, I was doing a, like a Halo video right here, so I'm gonna click that. And this is my small clip from a Halo video. I'm just gonna pause that sucker right there. And it's not been yet to be released yet. Uh, this is uh, a skit that I was doing. So basically, you have the footage right there, right? You can press play and let it play out just like that. You can just let it play out the whole thing. Or you can hit the space bar, pause it. Or you can hit the, uh, the pause button right here and it pauses for you guys. And if you guys want to see the different clips, you guys can just go screw it, through it like this. Hold on to the tab and just go through it like that. Really simple. So when you got that up and running, and you make sure that this is the right footage you want, that's awesome. Just click and drag it down to the bottom right here. This is going to be your timeline. This is going to be for your timeline, Gamer Bros. And this is where you're going to do all the editing. And of course, you can go left and right with your timeline. You can't go up and down, you can add audio and video later, but I don't want to show you guys too much because I think just the basic steps to Shotcut, you guys will understand are already and it's going to be good enough for you guys. So right here, that's it, that's it. So as you can see, you can start your cursor right there on the left hand side, just click your mouse right here. And if you want to check out your footage from the timeline, just hit the space bar. And that's it, and you can check your footage just like that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna stay at the freaking mirror or something. Look at me <laughs> looking like lost in space there. Alright, so that looks good, right? So you can see that this there's a lot of footage right here. There's so much footage, and you're thinking to yourself, hey, 
maybe you don't need that much footage, right? You could just like cut that in half or maybe four fourths. So you want to go right here to your cursor where the white line stops right here. Right click. Split at playhead. That's it. You split the playhead and it's going to divide those sections in half. It's split right there. This is going to be highlighted red on the part you split. It's always going to be left hand side. But if you touch the mouse and hit the right hand side, it's going to be red as well. So that's perfectly fine. That's totally normal. But for instance, say that you want to just keep the left hand side, right? You want to clip this clip, right? You don't want to uh, keep this clip where I'm touching the buttons like looking all awkwardly and freaking stoic or something, right? You want to keep this left click, this left clip. So you stop right here, just click the red part on the right hand side, highlight it, make sure it's highlighted, and just hit remove. And that's it, gamer bros. So you got that first section right there. You play it again, just check it out real quick. Sitting here, look at me. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe playing games, maybe not. All right, there you go. So now you're thinking to yourself, this is a good part of the video, but you want to add some gameplay into it. So it's pretty simple, right? Just like the step earlier, make sure you just open the file and look for gameplay footage on your desktop or your hard drive or SSD, wherever you may find it. So this is a new clip. This is a star drop footage. Uh, it's a PC game I played a couple months ago. Upload to my channel. You guys should definitely check it out if you like. So yeah, I have gameplay footage. And it looks great, right? Everything is all I want. It's 24 minutes long. You'll see right here on the bottom. Actually, 44 minutes long. You'll see right here in the bottom. you see the time discrepancies right there. But say, for instance, you don't want this whole clip, right? You want maybe just like a portion of it, half of it. You could drag it right here on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side. And that's it. You could drag it right there. And you have a small clip right there, right? And the same step I showed you guys earlier. Just drag it and put it on your timeline. That's it. And that's it. You can scroll left and right to your timeline. You want to play the whole thing? Hit the timeline, cursor, and press space. It's going to play the whole thing. Alright, stop for a second. It's, that happens sometimes if it doesn't render all the way through. So make sure you give it a second to render. And just hit that. And it's going to play that gameplay footage on your on your main screen right here. And that's the part where it's going to be uploaded to YouTube. Or wherever platform you guys decide to upload it to. And right there. You can pause it right there. You keep going. There's some gameplay footage. You guys might not be able to hear it. Let's uh, a little louder and then you can be able to he hear it. It's a very relatively quiet game, so you guys might not be able to hear it that well. But yeah, the, ta the gameplay, oh, yeah. the timeline is just going to keep going and rolling just like that. Huh. How simple is that, guys? How simple is that? From here. And there's some voiceover right there. There you go. Have to figure it out on your own. Very simple game. Sorry. Very simple editing tool. And if it's too big, guys, if you guys don't like this shit right here, if it's too much, go hit the... Minus sign right here. It's the zoom out sign. Basically, it makes your timeline smaller, so you don't have to use the cursor left and right. So it will be more accessible for you right here. You can just hit the cursor right there. And it's easily it, like that. More clean and crisp. Look at that. It's very simple. And then say, for instance, like this is too long of a clip, right? It's like uh, the whole entire clip. You go to the end, right? It's a minute twenty. Say, for instance. You want to cut that in half if you miss that first part. Let's split this sucker in half, this video clip, right? Let's split that in half. Remove that right-hand side, highlight it, and that's it. And you'll just have this part right here. You have me playing the game, sitting down here all awkwardly and staring into space right there. I think we and now I'm sitting now playing Star Drop for the PC. And that's it. That's It's just that simple, guys. And I'll let it play throughout. And that's it, guys. So... You're done with the video. That's pretty much it. The texting up here. Um, you guys could add texting right here. You go to view, filters. It's pretty simple, but make sure you guys highlight this. I'll do it real quick for you guys because I know I will start information for you guys. But you go to view, filters, and you have that clip right there. This is the clip that's highlighted to you. You can interchange it just like that, right? Let's just do it to the, to that second clip. Add. And it's going to be right here. This television set right here. Show video filters. Don't worry about this. Press down the bottom. Go scroll all the way down. Hit the text. And that's it. Then you just hit the text right down here. Hi. And that's it. It's pretty simple. It's going to be on your screen right there. Uh, change the size. I usually like to do like 600. And just choose that to be like 200. 
And yeah, then you guys can go to the middle. Or you guys, you guys can actually drag and drop this too, right there down here. So it will actually be all the way by the corner. So you guys don't have to mess with that. Yeah, there you go. You guys don't have to fix that. Yeah. Go to the left a little bit. That's it. Hi. That's it. You can put anything you want. So you're done with this. You don't have to mess with this anymore. You can go back to, you can, uh, if you want this to be cleaned up a little bit. Or also you can add colors. Forgot to mention, you guys can add colors. That's it. You guys can go back to filters and it'll go back to this part right here. Because you want to check up here and make sure it's on the screen at all times. Or else it's going to mess up everything. Uh, and it'll probably give you guys like loss of the way of uh, uploading the video. So this is good. And that's it. So now you're done. You got your video. You got your clips edited. You got your text. The sound's already good. You want to export this onto your desktop and upload to YouTube, right? So let's do that. It's very simple, guys. Hit the export file on the lower left. Name this YouTube Shotgun Shotcut. Sorry, Shotcut Tutorial, right? I spelled tutorial wrong, but that's okay. You save it, and that's it. It's already automatically saved to your desktop. It's pending right there. MP4. It should take like less than a minute since it's such a small file with what 20 seconds. Look, look how fast it's going. If you guys have a fast internet connection speed, it's gonna go super fast. And if you want to make sure everything's good and right, it's gonna be shown right here on your desktop. YouTube shortcut tutorial. It's right there on the bottom for you guys. It's right there. It's very simple. And you just basically wait it out until it's done. All right, guys. So it's done uploading because you have right here on the right hand side done on the jobs title. That's it. Very simple, right? Just minimize your shortcut screen. Oh, you got a double swam right there. This is your YouTube browser. You can look at that, but you minim minimize that again. The footage is right there on your desktop. Shortcut, YouTube shortcut tutorial. You want to check it if to see if it's working correctly and the edit was good. So it's very simple. Just hit the play button and make sure it's going through just like that. Look at that. Very high definition quality. Looking extra glowy as always. <laughs> and then the footage is right there, guys. Very simple. And it'll play out just like that. Text is right there. The high is right in the bottom. See that, guys? You guys did a great job. I'm very happy for you guys. I'm very proud of you guys. You guys did very well. Just exit that. Go to YouTube homepage. Just hit the button to upload. And find it here on your many, many <laughs> tasks of uh, projects. Right there. It's on the lower right-hand side because it's alphabetized. Hit YouTube. Shortcut to it. And that's it. And wait for the upload. That's it. It's very simple, guys. It's it's a very simple tutorial I showed you guys just to help you how you upload shortcut onto your video and it's it's a great software it's free I love it I use it all the time for my videos very high quality uh, for what it is for free it's really good I really like it a lot there are some steps you can do music and audio changes but I can show you guys next time if you guys leave a comment below tell me if you guys like it or not, tell me if you guys are going to use Shotcut. And if you guys have any questions about it, drop it down below and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. And definitely keep in touch with my videos. If you guys really liked my video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys really, really liked my video, go ahead and subscribe to me, you Asian Gamer Bro. And until next time, let's get a Gamer Bro salute out of here. I'll see you guys on the other side.